Hello from a sunny summer here in Norway. You know, there are different ways to pop up or to stand up. I'm gonna show you a variety of ways to stand up. Some are bad, some are good, and others are ways to cheat for those who are not so flexible or for those who are a bit older. Check it out. What I'll show you here are the most common ways people stand up and some are good, some are bad, some are cheats like I said. Let's rewind to this first one. This first one is one of the most common ways people stand up especially on bigger boards or long boards or as beginners and as you can see I'm placing my toes on the bottom or on the ground and jumping up from that push up position. And this works on big boards, like I said, but it does not work on short performance boards because your toes are hanging off a short board when you're popping up. So that one only works on bigger boards. It's also more explosive, so it's more difficult for people who are not super strong in the upper body. And the same with this technique. This is the same kind of pop-up, but this one's off the knees. This one will work on short boards or small boards as well as long boards. And as you can see, I'm popping up from my knees in one motion straight to my feet and that's a very explosive pop up and it works on any kind of board. But you need to be quick and strong and explosive so it doesn't work for everyone. Um, but it's a good one. That's usually the way I stand up in a quick critical uh, part of the wave like a barrel. Um, it's the quickest way to stand up. Then this technique here, putting the front foot first is not the greatest for everyone it works for some people but as you can see a few things happen with this one when you place your front foot down it often or your knee often hits your chest and people often end up taking their hands off too early as you can see i did it over there and then also when people stand up there's too much weight on the tail of the board and it sinks the tail and slows you down and it's quite difficult to stand up <laughs> using one leg like this. It can work on a big board because there's so much volume, but these short boards are quite difficult to do that with. All right, so that's one way people stand up. Not the best way. If you do it, you need to use your hands. So you can get your, your front foot down and then keep your hands on to keep the weight distributed a little further forward and not sink the tail, and then you can place your foot down on the tail pad but with this technique often you will stand too far back as well so the best way with the front foot uh, position first is if you get your one knee further forward like that first and then place your front foot that's usually the best way if you like this technique and I've seen with a lot of people who do surf a lot and who are quite good and they stand up with their front foot they do this they slide the one knee forward first and then they place their front foot in between the hands. They keep their hands on, then they lift the back foot up, place it in position and then they stand up. So that's quite a good way to stand up as well. So a lot of people use that technique. And like I said, it is quite difficult to keep the hands on for some people. And people, like I said, take their hands off too early and it's very difficult to control yourself, your balance, and the board in certain situations without using your hands. And this is another way, uh, kind of like a knee drag, dragging your knees forward. This is a way you can cheat. So for those who struggle to pop up, for those who struggle to stand up, this one's probably an easier way for you to stand up. You can move the one knee further forward, then the other knee, make sure that you don't wobble or move your hips and your head too much. Keep your hands on, place your back foot down and then the front foot. You can also put your front foot down first. As long as you slide or shift both knees further forward first, that's going to help stabilize the board, keeping more weight in the center of the board. And it's a lot easier to stand up. So that's a good way to cheat. Um, just don't do this. This is what some people do in that situation. They slide their knees further forward. They're on their knees and they take their hands off too early. So if you find that you're taking your hands off too early before you're standing, just place them back down and stand up. Don't try stand up without using your hands. 
I cannot do it. It's almost impossible unless you're on a big, massive long board or beginner board, then it works. And this is also a common way some people stand, like if they're not so flexible, they struggle to get their knee under their chest and their foot in between their hands. So the front foot goes around the outside of their one hand <laughs> that place it down. And often it's quite an awkward position. Your hands will more than likely come off too early, especially the one, and you will also stand up with a wider stance. So that one I don't recommend. That one's a very difficult one. I'd rather do the previous one, the cheat, where you slide the knees further forward and then you put the one foot down. This one's a very common one as well. They call this the chicken wing. Um, it works in some cases. I don't like this one. A lot of coaches teach this, and the reason why I don't like it is because it only works on wider boards. If I place my back foot down in the chicken wing position like this, and look closely at my knee. That knee's dragging in the water. This is grass, but <laughs> if this was on a wave, that is water. So I've noticed with a lot of people I coach who've been taught this technique, they struggle surfing green waves in the beginning because this knee drags in the water and it puts them off balance. So although like the foot placement's quite good, it's a good explosive pop-up and it works for most people, it's not good to drag your knee in the water. So you need to keep that knee up above the water. And then this is the way I also stand up um, most times if the wave's not super quick. I don't always pop up from my knees. I just like push up, get my ass up, put the back foot down, and then the front foot. So this is almost the exact same technique as the chicken wing the only difference is instead of keeping my ass and my hips down i just lift it up a little bit balance on my knees i'm not going to my knees but i'm using my knees just to get my ass up make some space for my feet making sure that my knee is off the water or off the ground lift it up and then that also helps me push off my back foot from the heel and the toes and then it helps me get into a good position so that's a very common technique. I'd say that that one is one of the most popular techniques professional surfers use. That one and the one where you pop up from your knees. Um, this one's a variation of what I just showed you. It's almost the exact same thing, but I'm just putting my front, sorry, my back foot in front of my knee. And that's good if you want to stand slightly further forward, then you can do that. So you can place it in front of that knee or behind the knee. I put mine just behind the knee when I stand so that I have my back foot against the kicker of the tail pad so I can do maneuvers. But if you want to stand further forward to generate some speed and get a barrel, you can put your back foot just in front of the knee and that's going to give you more drive down the line. But yeah, that's the way I stand up with the back foot first, um, putting it just on the kicker of the tail pad. I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any questions.